Everything talked about in this video is completely alleged and for entertainment purposes only. The most popular thinspo that you will find on the internet is actually K-pop. K-pop is encouraging ads between teenagers, teens, whoever their fans may be, who are vulnerable to develop an ad so that they can look like Having them. posters up on the wall um, and billboards everywhere is inspiration for the child to want to look like them. It seems like in a lot of circumstances, these individuals are just overworked to an extent that it's hard to even believe. On top of that, there is the need to be perfect, the need to be exercising all day, and not enough time to eat. At first, I kind of looked at it and I'm like, well, is it a huge deal? Just because this is what they look like has nothing to do with what people are going to want to mimic. One of my friends in high school really loved K-pop and I brought this topic up to her. I was like, do you think that it's a possibility that BTS or some similar band can be getting overworked? And my friend said that she genuinely didn't think so. And so that's what a lot of K-pop fans have to say. The reason they believe this in their argument is that they know this person, as in the celebrity, and they know their personalities. And let me know in the comments below if there's anything else that I'm missing out if you are a K-pop fan. And let me know if you disagree. Maybe you are a BTS fan or a K-pop fan who came over here and you're like, what are you talking about? If you have never suffered or heard of an eating disorder in any way, it's totally understandable to be like, what are you talking about? Just because someone looks like that doesn't mean that I want to look like that. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on, comment below, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. The reality of the disorder, though, is that people will seek things out like this, and even if they're not a K-pop fan, they will be a K-pop fan in the terms of freaking out about how beautiful they are in the comments and luring in other people who like K-pop into their ED realm, which is just really sad to think about. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter if they technically didn't even want their body to look like that. I don't know if the directors want their body to look like that and they work out so that they can look like that or if that's just the result of working 23 hours a day. But even on the slight chance that they had zero interest in triggering people or looking super skinny, they still did and they still do. You will see people talking in K-pop comments and let me know if you guys have ever personally seen something like this where people saying literally I want my body to look like yours. If you're weird or have ever had an ed, there's a high chance that you've looked up how much does this celebrity weigh? Well, literally all of the statistics are online about K-pop. Like just look it up about literally any of your favorite K-pop. Why are they sharing that? They don't, they're not obligated to share those things. Are they putting them up there to brag? Like I genuinely don't understand. Like for advertisement, they are also commenting on these things and other people are able to see and it's just a big mess. I would say about 40 to 50% of people are born with the potential for X, whatever drug of choice, may it be an eating disorder. However, it may not form until you get the environmental factors, which are if you turn into a depression, have a mental illness, and happen to come across a pro ED TikTok, you're fucked. It could be that you're literally not depressed at all. It is literally just in your genes. A lot of Korean individuals and Asian individuals will talk about how they are literally so triggered by K-pop and just the style and it's literally a fashion statement to be skinny over there. So that's horrible because may I remind you that your body is not a project, it's a machine. A lot of people just assume that every single Asian person has a fast metabolism a lot 
of K-pop stars will have to train for hours. They will be toned and be perfect because they have plastic surgery and work out for hours. Why are these people fainting on stage if that's not happening? And it's not like it just happens once or twice. It actually happens a lot. They promote these diets about the water diet or how to do this or that because for some reason it's not as censored. A lot of the times there will be this intense pressure on the models and like all the models, the K-pop dancers and models to literally look the exact way that they want them to, like in a Barbie doll sort of way. They will measure them and make sure that they look perfect. K-pop stars are told things like, you need to lose weight, and if you don't, well, you're just gonna have to lose your job, and they'll say, I'll give it to someone else who will, and someone who's better than you anyway. I've got a million people waiting for an audition to be a part of this. Your idol is either in a voluntary or, God forbid, involuntary eating disorder because of the contract, and I just think that's wrong, and if we were to somehow change this, some sort of bill, some sort of movement, vote, or poll, it would help s millions, may I say billions, of women to feel more comfortable with their bodies. My personal experience with Pro Anna is on TikTok and it's very, very bizarre. I don't know, what's the hashtag fake body? That doesn't make sense. Is there like a filter that makes you have a fake body? I don't think that's a thing, right? <laughs> but literally, you guys, I have never been so triggered in my life. Like actually, like it's like Instagram, but like a, be like a bigger trigger. It's hard to, to even go on that side of the app because unfortunately it's mingled with people who are getting better, have been better. There's also people who have nowhere else to go, but they are too sick to want to recover right it now. It might be hard for you to understand if you've never experienced an ad, but if you, you might feel like if I don't look like these people that I look up to, then what's wrong? with me like there must be something wrong with me but if you want to be like the cool girls in the movies or the high school or whatever then you know these people will literally see the diets of the people that they look up to and copy them and these people are fainting on stage and borderline like dying honestly this isn't even against the k-pop idols at all it's more against the business that is forcing them to be this way without further ado i show you people who were literally too exhausted to continue dancing, so they actually passed out on stage. This happens a lot, and here's a few clip compilations. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe, comment below, and let me know what you think about the situation.
뒤로 비틀 한이 쓰러지고 맙니다. 자, SES의 다른 멤버들과 댄서들이 놀라서 노래를 멈췄고요. 또 이어서 이 매니저들과 또 스태프들이 달려 나옵니다. 자, 그래서 바다향을 들고 나가죠. 이렇게 공연은 갑자기 중단이 됐습니다. 
저희 길 많이 파이팅 했고요. 하필이면 제일 힘들어하던 승우에게 돌발 상황이 일어났는데요. 착지를 잘못하면서 허리를 삐끗한 탓에 아예 믿음... 
más cariñoso.
갑자기 쓰러진 현아. 이전에도 아픈 경험이 있어 모두 긴장을 합니다. 많이 아픈가 봐. 현아, 일단, 일단 어디 봐봐. 일단, 이게 어떡하지? 어떡해. 